sixth grade module one lesson one homework welcome back everyone i'm excited to start a new school year with you hopefully all of those things that we learned in fifth grade set a really great foundation for what we're about to move forward with in sixth grade so let's get started this first module first few lessons are all about ratios i know it looks like a rat radio r-a-t-i-o but we would pronounce them ratios Number one, at the sixth grade school dance, there were 132 boys, 89 girls, and 14 adults. What is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls? There are multiple ways that we can represent ratios. One way is to use a colon like that in between two numbers. We can use the word two in between the numbers. We can also use a fraction bar to separate the two numbers. But we're gonna start by just using these first two examples. So the ratio for the number of boys to the number of girls. There are 132 boys, 89 girls, and 14 adults. So this first one is just asking us about the boys and the girls. So we're going to focus on 132 and 89. Now order matters when we're talking about ratios. So the boys need to come first. We have 132 boys, two, and you can either use a colon or you can use the word two. I'm just going to use this, 132 boys to 89 girls. So order matters. We must have the boys first and then the girls because that is how it is written. Now it wants us to write the same ratio in another form. So instead, I'm just going to write 132 to 89. C, write the ratio of the number of boys to the number of adults. Now we're looking at boys and adults. The so boys are going to go first, 132. And then adults is 14. Write it in another form, 132 to 14. Number two, in the cafeteria, 100 milk cartons were put out for breakfast. At the end of breakfast, 27 remained. What is the ratio of the number of milk cartons taken to the number of milk cartons? So we're looking for the number First, we're looking for the number of milk cartons taken. So we know there were 100 milk cartons put out at breakfast 27 remain. So we actually don't know how many are taken. We need to do a little investigating to figure that piece out. So let's, if we had 100 to start, 27 remained, we can subtract to figure out how many were taken. 100 minus 27, we need to borrow, we end up with 73. So we can know there are 73 taken to the total number of milk cartons. Remember, order matters. We have 73, 2, and then the total number of milk cartons was 100. So 73 to 100. We could have written it also as 73 to 100. Both are correct. What is the ratio of the number of milk cartons remaining to the number of milk cartons taken? So the number of milk cartons remaining was 27. That's going to be our first number. 27 to the number of milk cartons taken. That would be 73. 27 to 73. Number three, choose a situation that could be described by the following ratios and write a sentence to describe the ratio in context of the solution situation you chose. For example, three to two. When making pink paint, the art teacher uses three to two. For every three cups of white paint she uses in the mixture, she needs to use two cups of red paint. Okay, so we need to make our own. Now, I like to look back at previous examples and kind of model the mine after those because those are just what tends to be fresh in my mind. So, you can do that too when you're doing your own classwork or maybe on a test and it asks you to make an example. Look back at previous examples that have already been provided to you and work from that. 
So one to two. I'm thinking about mixing things, and when I think about mixing things, I think about baking. So I'm going to say for every one cup of water, There are two cups of flour. So there's an example for A. For B, we could say, let's see, we have 29 to 30. That's a pretty even ratio. When I think of even numbers, usually in a class, there's about an even number of boys to girls. So let's say for every 29 girls in the school there are 30 boys and then C we have 52 to 12 so that's a little bit more of an uneven ratio um, Think about animals, maybe, um, something at the zoo. Let's say for every 52 animals, for every 52 animals at the zoo, there are 12 zookeepers. So feel free to come up with your own examples. You don't necessarily need to use exactly mine. Try and come up with your own. Thanks for joining.